is yours. Hi, I'm Mayor Melissa Blake, and I want to say welcome home to the citizens of Fort McMurray and Wood Buffalo. We are a region that is blessed with diversity. We have incredible resources at our feet, and we had a boreal environment that was something spectacular. And of course, with our wonderful people and the resources that uh, propel our economy, we find ourselves here today coming to a re-entry point in our history. First, I commend those citizens who were part of Fort McMurray on, on what I call Black Tuesday, the day that our community really took, uh, was taken over by fire. And I want to say that the exodus that we made was nothing short of miraculous. And so thank you to the citizens for the patience and the perseverance that each of you showed in going through that transition. And now to citizens, again, who have served our community while the rest of us were in absence, thank you for the work that you've undertaken to make this reentry possible for all of us. And now for the folks who have been supporting us from everywhere in this province, our 16 emergency evacuation centers, that blessed industry who helped us get to safety. We are all very much looking forward to giving our thanks to you in a more formal way. But today, today is about our home and going back to that home. We had a provincial announcement short uh, days ago talking about the plan for a June 1st re-entry and a phased approach over four days. Every one of us should be able to get back in uh, to see our communities anywhere from uh, you know, the, the Timberley to, to Beacon Hill and Abbasand and of course our, our dear communities in Anzac as well. What people need to understand is that this home, this beloved place that we all recall, will be different now. The fire has done its damage and we have persevered through much of the, much of the tough slogging that we had to do to get past uh, the point where we thought it would be unsafe to return. So early re-entry means that you'll be able to come home on those dates that are projected as long as all of the safety factors have been met and there are many safety factors that must be met. But what it means is when you come it's going to be different and it's going to be up to you to take care of some of these things that would naturally have been available before the fire. If you are planning uh, to come for that very first re-entry, make sure that you have the provisions that you're going to need. If you're lucky enough to be driving home, then please make sure you pack enough groceries for a week. We do expect businesses of a certain nature to be available to you, but if they're not, you need to be able to care for your own immediate circumstances. When you get there, you are not going to be able to drink water from the tap. We know this for sure. Uh, in a few short weeks past the re-entry date, we should be able to get that right back into the service that you're, you're expecting. So make sure again that you're following all of the healthy requirements related to drinking water. And when you get into cleaning your house, and if you're unfortunate, and uh, my apologies of course to anybody who has lost their home, uh, it's recommended that you have long pants, long sleeves, gloves that will help you sort through what you need to if that is a permissible activity. And of course the other thing that's essential we learned it when we were evacuating and you'll hear it going home have your medication available you may not be able to get what you need when you need it so make sure that you're prepared for that too I would tell my citizens that above all when you're there you can expect the unexpected and when I say that I'm thinking of things like uh oh what did you leave in the refrigerator and what's the status now well you're gonna make that discovery and hopefully what you'll discover is that a lot of the power was retained through the course of the this terrible incident and that may be a little bit easier to take but there will be a plan for everything and no matter what you face I want you to know you will not be facing it alone. The kind of strain and stress and pressure that you may experience upon your return uh, could be overwhelming and we don't want anybody to feel that they're alone in that regard either. We will have vital teams of support on the ground that will also cover critical incident uh, um, health standards and whatever you need, I need to encourage you to continue to take, take whatever advantages there are in that community to help us transition. My bottom line on this is that we'll all be home someday and if your day isn't day one or two or three or four, but if it's a month later or a couple of months later, know that together we will be what we've always been. We will be strong, we'll be resilient, and we'll be together. Until that time, I welcome those early entries home, and when we all get there, we will have a celebration of spirit. Thank you.